Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm here today with a couple things. So I wanted to share with you my latest digital kit that I've just popped up in the shop. This is Watercolor Weeds and Wilds and I really am happy with how it turned out. It is 12 journal pages, 6 backgrounds, um, 12 tags and 12 pockets um, in two kits. So the first kit is the pages, the second kit is the ephemera. Um, so I've printed these with the backgrounds and I just used different um, vintage botanical like weeds um, for the background and then I've added my watercolor creatures to the front here. This one is this bear and I've backed it with this. You can put whatever backgrounds you want on these or not use backgrounds at all. I felt like I just wanted to do a few fun backgrounds. I also thought this would be nice for spring journals because um, the colors are a little springy and they'll go with the animals nicely. So this is the um, chess or cheat plant and this little frog <clears throat> and this little squirrel and the pale persicaria and the pigeon and the sheep sorrel. And this is a little deer and more of the chest plant, a different kind of chest plant and that background. So like nice bright colors, you know, with, with botanicals and the little duck here with the wild buckwheat. And the groat with the green fox tail. And the skunk and the common darnell. And the fox and the moth up here. And I forget what kind of wheat this is, but it is in the wheat family. <clears throat> and the green fox tail and the bunny and this little nut hatch. And the owl with this other kind of common darnel in the background. And our little gopher here and the wild buckwheat or bindweed again. So yeah, that is the pages of the kit. Um, let me just see. Yeah, that's the pages and I showed you all the backgrounds. And then the tags are here and the pockets. So the tags are the same images, <clears throat> but you know, in miniature size for the ephemera. And then the pockets are actually different weeds that weren't already um, seen or different botanicals. So there are three tags and three pockets on each page for a total of 12. And you can use these kits together or separate, totally up to you, but they are both up in my Etsy shop now. That being said, um, <clears throat> I'm planning to use this kit, I think, in this book which I just got to start on. This is the Casket of Literature, this beautiful book. Isn't it amazing? Um, I'm just getting started. I printed out a few other digitals for it, <clears throat> thinking I wanted to kind of make just like a, a vintage sort of theme journal. This is a book from 1895, but I think I want to actually mix it with this. So it will be like spring, you know, farm weeds and animals and a bit of a vintage feel as well. <clears throat> and I printed some of these nice kind of um, digitals. I forget where these ones come from. I totally forget. But some of these are from Roxy's Creations. Some of them are... Oh, I can't recall. I know these ones are from Rachel at Roxy's Creations. These ones aren't. These are some floral ledgers. Um, yeah, so then I've got a few of the book plates that I'm going to add back into the book that are lovely. So that's my plan so far for this journal. And I'm going to be working on it a little bit. <clears throat> I am still recovering from this little cold that I have. So I've just kind of been keeping, keeping things a little quieter this week as I'm recovering. 
so that's it for now I just wanted to share this little kit with you um, these little two kits and hopefully you like them and I will talk to you all again very soon take care and bye for now